What's up, ladies and gents? This is KC Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're in the King's Fall raid again, but we're on the War Priest for the first time ever. So this is awesome. We're going to show you an extremely easy, extremely efficient, extremely deadly method to killing the War Priest. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, first things first. Whenever you get into this room, you're going to want to split into teams of two. Two people up to the left plate, two people stay in the middle, and two people over here on the right plate where I'm at right now. That's going to make your life the easiest. And what you saw initially was that I was looking back to see if I had a good vantage point on the pillars. There are three pillars in the room on three different plates on three sides of the room, which is why you're splitting up. And those three plates and pillars are the important part, but we'll get to that in just a little bit. First things first, after everybody stands on the plate, all three of your team members have to stand on a plate to get this battle started. And pretty much whenever you do that, the enemies start pouring out. And it's pretty straightforward, you kill the ads. Nothing really too difficult, nothing too crazy just yet. Your goal is to make it where each side has their yellow knight come out, and once you take care of them, you get a prompt on the left hand side of your screen right above your bar that the glyph sequence has started. With that I need to come to the front and I need to direct my teammates when to stand on their plates. I know that by which pillar is lit up. So right here I saw that the left plate was lit up first, then the right, and finally that means that by process of elimination the middle plate is lit up. The last person that jumps on a plate gets this red aura, and this aura allows anybody standing within it to deal damage to the war priest. Now there's only a 10 second timer on this aura, so the person that has it needs to kill enemies. And there are a few acolytes that come out whenever it says glyph sequence has started. So make sure that whenever you see that prompt, you don't kill any enemies at all after that, because that's your key to dealing out the damage to the war priest. You need to have that person who has the sequence on the left hand side of their screen. They're going to get that countdown 10 seconds down, but whenever they kill off an acolyte, it boosts their sequence back up to 10 seconds. If it would run out, they would die, and the sequence would pass on to the next person. But as long as they're killing one acolyte every 10 seconds or so, roughly, they'll be able to deal out more damage to the war priest as this whole thing goes. Whenever all's said and done, you see that big white oculus blast that if you're not standing in the shadow of those pillars, you're going to die. So make sure that the person that has the brand and is calling out that they're killing the acolytes, that they're saying whenever they're down to their very last sequence and it's time to go hide because if not, you're going to wipe and that's bad. And you can see we dealt out massive damage to the war priest. And that's what I want to talk about right now. How to deal out the most damage possible to him. First things first. It's going to be really helpful if you have three big things. One, a black spindle. Two, defender titan with a bubble that has weapons of light and bastion, of course. And then three, a hunter that has shadow shot. And those three things are going to work in tandem. First off, your weapons of light bubble is going to give you a boost. And the shadow shots are going to give the war priest a debuff. Black spindle is extremely good because it has massive, massive DPS on it because you don't have to reload as long as you're hitting those precision shots to the head of the war priest. If you don't have a black spindle but you do have a sleeper simulant, you could go ahead and use that. That should be very effective. You should always have a really good sniper rifle on. That should be your primary or secondary means of dealing out damage to the war priest. And finally, heavy machine gun would be great. Those should be your top priorities. You should never be shooting with your primary gun unless absolutely a last resort. Remember, after you spawn out your yellow knights and kill them and the glyph sequence has started, don't kill any enemies. Those acolytes that come out are absolutely vital to you being able to deal out the most damage for the most amount of time possible on the war priest. As you recall, whenever that oculus came out and we hid in it behind our pillar, it destroyed our pillar. So basically you have three pillars in the room and that means you get three pillars to hide from plus one additional chance to deal damage to the war priest. But with this strategy, you should have absolutely no problem in killing him. There should be no reason that you get to the fourth time going up, you know, all three pillars gone. 
if you're dealing out all the damage you can with the black spindles, you've got your weapons of light bubble and your shadow shot debuff, you should absolutely kill the war priest. There should be no way you guys are struggling around for four times. We're going to melt these war priests, we're going to get on to the next stage of the king's fall, and we're going to get all our loot. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, the Taken King, and I'll see you around in Destiny. War. What is it good for?